Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's explore the concept of active transport. In our earlier tutorial, we dealt with passive transport, that is diffusion and osmosis, which is a great way for moving molecules into or out of a cell. It's easy and all the cell has to do is let the molecules diffuse in or out from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. But it doesn't work in every situation. For instance, suppose the sugar glucose is more concentrated on the inside of a cell than outside and if the cell needs more sugar to meet its metabolic needs, how does it get that sugar? Here, the cell can't import glucose for free using diffusion because the natural tendency of the glucose will be to diffuse out of the cell rather than flow into the cell. So here the cell must bring in more glucose molecules which they do by a process called active transport. So let's understand what is active transport. Active transport is the movement of molecules and ions in or out of a cell through the cell membrane against a concentration gradient. And because it is not the natural direction, energy is required to make it work. This energy is obtained from respiration. Active transport is carried out by special protein carriers within the cell membrane and they have a specific binding site for the exact molecule they are transporting. These proteins pick up substances example glucose molecules from outside the cell and then change shape in a way that they push the molecule through the cell membrane into the cytoplasm of the cell. The energy in the form of ATP needed for it to do this is provided by respiration in the cell. This change of shape pushes the glucose molecule being transported into the cell. Now, where do you think active transport occurs? Active transport takes place in the root hair cells in plants to help it take in nitrate ions from the soil. It also occurs in the human small intestine where glucose can be actively transported from the intestine to the cells of the villi. This concludes our tutorial on active transport. We welcome questions and feedback in our comment section.